Thank you. Welcome to Insight on Business. My name is Michael Libby. This is the show that talks about advertising, marketing, consumer trends, and best business practices. All brought to us by FUERSA. Today is tax day, kids. FUERSA. <laughs> if you haven't gotten your taxes done and you're in the metro, contact them today. That's FUERSA, working hard on your taxes until the cows come home. You can find them in Clive, F-U-I-R-S-A. That's F-U-I-R-S-A, FUERSA of Clive. So what qualifies me to share information, news, and ideas about advertising, marketing, and consumer trends? Well, for decades, I've been in the advertising and marketing industry. We have created campaigns for clients that have increased their business by hundreds of thousands of dollars. And so what we do here on Inside on Business is share with you not just those stories, but all kinds of issues that relate to advertising and marketing. You see, we're convinced, because this is what we do for a living, that most businesses don't really know advertising and marketing. They think they do, but unfortunately, they usually don't. And so we're here to help guide you through the maze of what is uh, what is advertising and marketing. Uh, if you want to comment or get in touch with us, uh, we do monitor Twitter throughout the show. It's at InsightADV. That's at InsightADV. On the show today, most corporate executives fail to understand social media. We'll tell you what they'd rather think about and what might happen to fix and change their mind. Also, social media education. Have you ever signed up for a social media seminar someplace, gone, and then Disappointed or elated? We've got some thoughts on a recent event that was held here in Des Moines. We're not casting stones, we're just trying to be helpful. Also, um, eight marketing truths, kids. There are eight slides we're going to share with you today. Eight separate ideas about advertising and marketing that you need to understand so that your business can grow in this climate or in any climate. The 800-pound gorilla is coming to Main Street. We're going to tell you how the Bentonville, Arkansas mega chain, Walmart, is going to be tapping into the local, the buy local market. You're not going to believe it. Also, uh, the Social Media Club of Des Moines is in studio today. We're going to be talking with Suzanne Hall and Kelly Sparks about what is the Des Moines Social Media Club, what does it mean, what do they, what do they have to offer, and why should businesses pay more attention. And finally, we've not got the worst ad of the week, but we have the three biggest social media fails. Well, we figure if we've got the Social Media Club in studio, we might as well share with you some mega social media fails in the final segment of the show. So let's get started. Business executives and social media. Usually they don't get it. How badly don't they get it? Well, there was a recent survey that was done. Let me quote from the survey. It was uh, T.J. McHugh, McHugh wrote an interesting piece in Forbes magazine last week highlighting a recent DHR international survey. The survey asked business executives about their personal and business utilization of social media. And uh, some interesting results. By the way, social media kids really is the fastest um, 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 adopted technology that we've ever seen. All right, but yet many executives don't understand it. Here's what they do understand. Let's take a look at this slide number one, Ryan. Uh, this is um, this is a, a business executive survey. Eighty percent of business executives now are aware of aware of LinkedIn, that tends to be the top social media site. Uh, Facebook, these executives say that they use it often, and Twitter, 27% uh, indicate that they use uh, Twitter often. Now, what's not on this slide, clearly, is blogs. We can come back here for just a minute. Ryan. So what's not on the slide is blogs, and we were kind of dumbfounded about that, but further and deeper into the study, it does indicate that at least some executives are aware of blogs. Do they use them? Do they use them in their business to promote their voice? Rarely. Less than 8%. Shocking. It really, really is. All right. So we've now found out that, that, that 
uh, executives like LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Well, how often do they utilize these social media tools? And here's a slide that I think is pretty telling as far as what amount of, um, I, we went slide number two, I think it is. There we go. Uh, businesses, social media use. Business executives say that 50% uh, of them say that they use social media daily. All right. What that means is that 50% don't. 60% use social media one hour a week or less. That's a staggering number because if you're connected with social media, you know that social media is this ongoing teletype of news and information. And to utilize social media for less than one hour a week, it uh, just doesn't quite square. But it all pays, you know, it all makes sense when you understand what um, executives really don't understand about social media. And here's a relatively long list. We'll go through each one of these points for you. This is a list of social media use. It's all about the ROI, return on investment. Um, executives, 90% of the executives said it would be helpful for business if they understood it. 86% um, said that they would use social media if I were actively seeking a new career, which understandably, that's why LinkedIn um, shows so very high on the, uh, on the survey. Uh, why? Because people actually see the doors open up and people come in for interviews and there's business being done on LinkedIn, but they don't understand quite the value of the other social media tools that are out there. And that has to do with 85% say, if there were a high value in using social media, I'd use it. 80% say if using social media was a better use of my time, I might use it. 60% said if they better understood the benefits, and 50% said, get this, if I had a better experience with the tools of social media, I might utilize it more. Well, what's the number one thing in all of those, those reasons from this survey that TJ McHugh in, uh, wrote about for Forbes magazine. Well, the number one overriding issue is lack of understanding. That means people in my business, in advertising, marketing, and communications, we have a lot of work cut out for us to engage individuals in the utilization of social media and in the utiliza utilization of the tools that make social media much more interesting and easy to use. Uh, what we think is the lack of understanding in social media, they, they just, they get sales. Executives get sales. They understand that, that to drive traffic, you must advertise. But they're so used to one-way communication that oftentimes this whole idea of social media is foreign to them. They can go ahead and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars or in the case of small business, thousands of dollars on a marketing campaign of some kind but they shy away from social media because they just don't see the value in it. They're used to pushing out a message rather than receiving feedback from their marketing messages. And that's what social media is all about. It enables businesses, no matter the size, to gauge the consumer interest in their product or service. And so if we can make it easier for business to understand how to use social media, if we can make business executives understand that there is a cost factor to social media, but there's also a huge return of investment on social media. We have seen it dozens and dozens and dozens of times where companies have been able to, first of all, uh, protect their image by utilizing social media, sell more goods and services by utilizing social media, and have a larger voice in their community, whether their community is local, regional, national, or international. Look, the folks over at Hy-Vee, the folks at Southwest Airlines, and the folks at Enterprise Rent-A-Car don't staff a fully functional social media center with eight or nine people for nothing. They're into this business because they understand the communication opportunities between consumers and business. And if executives better understood and we better educate them on how to utilize social media, we're all in the win. When we come back, we're going to be talking about something that happened last week. There are social media education forums going on all over the planet all the time, it seems like. 
Well, there was one here in Des Moines last week, and while we weren't able to attend, we attended using Twitter and following the hashtags. I've got a couple of comments, and this is not to knock anybody down, but it is to offer some sound advice from some seasoned market professionals. When we come back, we're going to take a look at education and social media. My name's Michael Libby. This is Insight on Business. It's all brought to us by Fursa. Fursa. If you got your taxes done, today is tax day. I want to get that done. Fursa, working hard for you until the cows come home. We'll be back right after this.